The adults are here. It's time to feel the power of various state punches. I couldn't shake the feeling that something had gone wrong here. Her cries of happiness. Didn't I know the calls. feeling. Have no fear, students. That's my fear is long gone. Long gone. <laughs> but but No, there is no but. All Might's here. And he's not smiling. Yeah, you can tell he's pissed. I bet he's probably pissed at himself too. Episode 12, All Might. Might as well just give give the episode his name. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap indeed. If we strike now, we can kill him. <laughs> he also signed all their autographs while he was knocking them out. Damn, he's fast. And he knocked off his hand? He's still fast, father. But somehow he managed to hit me. Father. But he's not as fast as I thought he would be. Not as fast as he used to be. I guess it's true after all. He's noticing the weaknesses. <laughs> Ooh. Really is getting weaker. That is not good. He's too strong! Young Midoriya! <laughs> yeah, but for how long? For how long? Carolina! <laughs> Told you you're gonna get some state smashes. This guy's the neutralizer. Thanks for telling me how to beat him. All I have to do is wear him down, and then it's on to you. Yeah, all I have to do is wear him down. Hey now. All right, take that, Bird Brain. I told you his name was Bird Brain. Now someone say Hans McGee. I'm supposed to be the guy who's always smiling, right? I'm the symbol of peace. People everywhere have to think that I'm never afraid. But honestly, kid, I smile to hide the fear inside. They're cheering him on, but they don't know what kind of trouble he's actually in. Uh, yeah, this hurts. Life is so complicated. <laughs> All Might is such a beautiful soul. Like, I just, I mean, I just love him. I can't ever take issue with them helping people or being heroic, but there's something wrong. There's something wrong with this. The thought I'm having is that it's so hard to make any progress because sometimes the, the good that you do creates the seeds of its own destruction in a way. By being the symbol of peace, by always having this smile, there's something about it that creates an illusion that other people then incorporate into their lives that, that changes their behavior through like, I guess the world culture or Japan's culture or whatever. With All Might around, you can breathe a sigh of relief, but All Might can't do this forever. All Might will not always be around. All Might can't save everyone every moment of the day. And so I think the symbol of peace is a beautiful thing, right? Because it gives people something to believe in. It's a light in the darkness. But there's another step that has to be made, which is that the world can't rely on one person to shoulder everyone else's burdens. The goal I think is for other people to be more like All Might, even if they don't have his powers but to take on that responsibility in a way that they are doing their best without destroying themselves. I think that's a crucial line. I think we underestimate the ripple effects of just having good qualities in ourselves very localized. That I think is the missing thing about All Might. It can't just be him doing everything. And it can't just be people admiring him. It has to be them admiring All Might and then reflecting on what they could do. I don't know. I just think that there's some, some lie built in here. And I think as long as there's a lie, there are going to be some toxic symptoms, toxic effects. <laughs> Oh, come on. What kind of cheap move was that? Oh, no. You've got him just where we want him now. Oh, the portal. Damn. This monster found my weak spot. And now, now they all know. If this is your best, then you picked the wrong place to attack. This you whole thing, there's no going back from. Like, this guy's learning a lot about the whole situation. All Might, Deku. Will you carry Mr. Aizawa for me? Are you crazy? Yes. <laughs> but this is Deku. How foolish. You should have consulted your hero notebook. Whoa! Hell yeah. <laughs> this ice guy. What's his name? Todoroki, I think. This kid, he's ready. He's good. I can loosen this villain's grip now. Thank you for explaining. <laughs> what you gotta say to that? Hands McGee. Gonna take a mid-roll break. <laughs> Todoroki and Bakugo. And Kirishima too. Don't you have to get Aizawa to a hospital? Uh, let them handle it. We yeah. need to hurry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Everyone stands around for so long. Don't worry. I'll 
Uncle Mike will take care of this. Um. You're not immune to physical attacks if they're well aimed. Very clever. Oh, don't move. Kids these days really are amazing. <laughs> They make the League of Villains look like amateurs. If you didn't want them to seem amateur, you shouldn't have named them the League of Villains. Come on. <laughs> come on, dude. That's something a five-year-old would come up with. What is this? He can regenerate. This power was shock absorption. I didn't say that was his own. Life power. isn't fair. The top people have like 25 quirks. He's basically a highly efficient punching bag that hits back. <laughs> Hit him in the brain. Just an idea. <laughs> Couldn't even see him coming. Then how'd you get over here? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Ooh, this is a dark day for All Might. He was threatening my companion. Besides, these kids are no angels. The plain looking one? <laughs> oh no. Everyone comments you on think his plainness. You can get away with being as violent as you want if you say it's for the sake of others. Why do people get to decide that some violent acts are heroic and others are villainous? I'm gonna stop you right there because the difference is that they didn't they didn't come to your house and do this. I think once you attack someone, you have showed that you don't honor the values or any kind of like contract between others. And so you've sort of nullified your your right to complain about that. There are always gonna be people who are who are villainous or who take advantage of things and who see a lack of strength or a lack of resistance as an opportunity for them to, you know, take what they want by force. So I don't see anything wrong with having the ability to defend yourself, even if that includes violence. But when I say that, I'm really applying that to this specific situation. I could see him having a point if heroes end up using similar tools that the villains use, but get away with it because they're liked or because they're on the right side or something like that. I think there is a real danger about having double standards like that in terms of values. You know, if something is bad for one person or one group, it should apply broadly, even if people are on your side, you know, or agree with you. But I'll have to wait and see what exactly he means. Casting judgment as to what's good and what's evil. Who gets to decide? You're just another government-sponsored instrument of violence. And violence always breeds more violence. I'll make sure the world understands that once you're dead. By amplifying the violence. <laughs> you're only doing this because you like it. Isn't that right? Those things are not mutually exclusive, though. He's got me figured out. It's gonna be alright. Just sit back and watch a pro at work. He's saving his best state. He's gotta redeem his honor a little bit. Like, he's just showing too much. Too much weakness. I have to stop these villains. But every time he overexerts himself, his time gets shorter and shorter. Because I am. The world's symbol of peace and justice. I guess just dig deep, All Might. <laughs> Damn. He just does not care. <laughs> I was just punching his way through this. That's great. If you can really withstand me firing at 100% of my power, then I'll have to go beyond that and force you <laughs> to surrender. Go beyond 100%. Very All Might. So All Might. He's giving it his all. More than his all. And every single one of them <laughs> is more than 100% of his power. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> All Might's punches are greater than the sum of their parts. Damn, man. The dedication, though. The drive. Plus, Plus Ultra. <laughs> I've heard this so many times. Damn. So that's the meaning of Plus Ultra. What was that? Plus Ultra. It's go beyond Plus Ultra, right? Well, he definitely went beyond. And pl Plus Ultra, I guess. <laughs> um, did a villain just fly by? Or am I going crazy? He went blasting off again, yeah. That's how you get to be a pro. There's no denying it. This is the best lesson. Best day of school ever. <laughs> best field trip. Back in my heyday, five hits would have been enough to knock that guy out. But today it took more than 300 mighty blows. Amazing that he was able to count them. Time's up. Gotta end this fast. Surrender. We all want to get this over with quickly. He cheated. I mean, he played exactly the game he wanted him to play. He just punched his way through the anti-punching thing. That's not cheating. He, like, played the game exactly. They do such a great job of All Might making him so amazing and so inspiring. 
but simultaneously having his whole thing be like this house of cards that's waiting to topple down. <laughs> the tension is great. There's a really sad subtext to it, in my opinion, that they're not directly covering, but it's sad. It's sad for someone this great to realize it's the end. You know, this is the, the beginning of the end or even the middle of the end. Although there could be plot stuff that gives them a little more time. From five mighty blows to 300 mighty blows, that's a big loss. And I feel like All Might won, but he let them see him bleed. And there's no going back from that. You know, people who are this calculating or opportunistic or ambitious, they notice that. Villainous people have a way of loving weakness and noticing weakness and jumping on it. There's this weird correlation between resentment, personal dissatisfaction, and the observance of other people's failures. You know what I mean? And with Hans McGee being as smart and observant and knowledgeable about heroes as he is, he surely is taking away lessons from this about All Might. His plan failed, but he's gonna survive this. Birdbrain probably will land somewhere alive. And so if I'm this guy, my plan is just to keep at it. Maybe even not that, that, not that quickly. You know, All Might's on the decline. This was an information leak in my opinion but still <laughs> amazing and that's the fun of all this conflict this tension what is plus ultra i wonder what is it really that'll be fun to go into i'm also impressed by uh by todoroki you know it was a good episode for him because i actually remember his name one possible result of this i guess is the students might have to step up a little bit more or, or learn a little bit faster they also saw all might bleed and they also saw him you know go beyond plus ultra <laughs> but i'm also very intrigued by hans mcgee because he's not well, maybe he's crazy, but he's not stupid. He's a very intelligent person. He's very observant. He's also, like, self-honest? Like, he admitted to the fact that he's enjoying it. He may end up having a point. You know, he may end up having a point about a double standard. Or a lack of good values, consistent values across heroes, or maybe even society or the world or whatever. And I guess it's implied he has a connection to All Might in the past, maybe through his father. That'll be such a huge deal if this villain actually turns out to be cool. It was pointed out to me that he has Kimberly's voice, so it would be fitting. It would be very fitting that I would, you know, enjoy his character because I love Kimberly. But this time we have infinitely regenerating hands instead of infinitely regenerating hats. <laughs> Is this guy also a master detective? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys next time for the grand finale of My Hero Academia Season 1 already.